Welcome to my channel MK Medical Lectures Learning with Artworks like Drawing and Calligraphy In this lecture uh, we will talk about uh, that how drugs act or uh, mechanisms of drugs actions When we uh, administer a drug to the body it must have some effects on the body These effects are uh, bring about by drugs by binding to something or uh, something binding to drugs or by changing a uh, physical and chemical composition of the body so in this way all the drugs shows effect in these actions are achieved uh, mainly by uh, binding of drugs to uh, non-cellular uh, structures or agents or uh, cellular structures or components of the body so at first uh, drugs did bind to non-cellular uh, agents or components of the body and uh, shows effect uh, these components of, of the body are mostly inorganic in nature so uh, for a drug uh, to show effect, it's not necessary for the drug uh, that it will must bind to a receptor. Uh, this means some drugs can show effect without binding to a receptor. But uh, there are very less number of drugs uh, that show effect by this mechanism. So uh, these actions of drugs are achieved due to its simple uh, physical and chemical properties. In this, first of all is absorption, that uh, a drug uh, may absorb something inside the body and shows its effect. For example, aspergillus, uh, which is used as a uh, bulk laxative, uh, which absorb uh, water inside the GIT and relieve constipation by not allowing the water to be absorbed in the blood. And other drugs like glycerin. And after that, some drugs show effect by absorbing something inside uh, the body, like in GIT. For example, activated charcoal, uh, which is used to absorb uh, poisoned molecules uh, inside the GIT and to not allow them to be absorbed in the blood and show its uh, uh, lethal effect. After that, another mechanism through which uh, the drugs act is chemical antagonism, uh, by which drugs may antagonize some chemicals inside the body, like antacid, which is used to lower the hyperacidic condition of the stomach by neutralizing the acid and uh, lowering the pH of the stomach and thus relieve the heartburn like condition. The fourth one in this series is uh, the drugs that exert osmotic pressure and thus attracts the water toward himself and uh, not allow them to be reabsorbed like mannitol which is used as osmotic diuretic and uh, used for uh, hypertension and uh, some kinds of edema. Well, uh, some drugs uh, produce radiation inside the body and destroy uh, cells inside the body uh, like iodine-131 which is used orally for hyperthyroidism and uh, we destroy uh, some cells in the thyroid gland and thus uh, lowers the secretion of the, of the thyroid gland. Number six is achelation. Some drugs may form achelate, for example EDTA or which form uh, achelate with uh, heavy metals in the blood and GIT and uh, excreted uh, with their cells from the, out of the body through urine or feces respectively, thus it may use in heavy metal poisoning. After this, some drugs are used uh, to alter the pH of the body fluids like blood and urine which are used mostly in drugs toxicity cases like sodium bicarbonate which is used to increase the pH of the urine and blood in our body. The next one is a drug may form a layer over a body internal lining uh, for example sucral fat which form a layer over the ulcer affected area of the stomach and thus prevent further damage to the stomach walls. Sucral fat in this case only binds to the ulcer affected area of the stomach and uh, forms a barrier and this barrier uh, prevent direct contact of the acids with the damaged area and thus promote healing of the uh, ulcer affected area of the stomach wall. And the last one in this topic is uh, the action due to the drug itself. For example, zinc oxide which has reflective properties uh, and thus uh, used in uh, some sunblocks uh, due to its reflective properties which is applied to the exposed areas of the skin to protect the skin from the dangerous rays of the sun. And with this let's move to the second part of our lecture which is uh, the actions mediated by uh, the drugs binding to cellular structures or components. In this mechanism drugs shows its effect by binding to macromolecules or organelles inside the cell of our body. These components include enzymes, transporters, 
and all receptors with the drug will bind and shows its effect. In these, our first topic is uh, enzyme inhibition or activation by drugs through which the drug will show its effect. Moreover, in very less number of cases, uh, the enzymes are activated, but uh, mostly uh, the enzymes are inhibited uh, in our body by the drugs to show its effect. The drugs which activate uh, uh, an enzyme uh, may act as uh, a cofactor for an enzyme uh, which will activate uh, the enzyme from its inactive state to uh, its active state. For example, vitamin B6 which is also known as uh, phyrodoxin, uh, it uh, increases uh, the decarboxylase activity inside the body. Another cofactor like uh, or riboflavin or B vitamin B2 uh, which eventually uh, form FAD or flavin adenine dinucleotide inside the body uh, which also act as a cofactor for the mm, enzymes so uh, mono amino oxidase. In the absence of a cofactor the enzyme is said to be mm, inactive and it will be activated uh, uh, when uh, a cofactor is attached to the enzymes. In this inactive state, uh, the enzyme will be unable to uh, catalyze uh, the reaction inside the body. So uh, after attachment of the uh, cofactor, uh, the enzyme is then activated and uh, it would be able to uh, catalyze the reaction for which uh, it is made of. So in this way, uh, enzymes are a good target for the drugs uh, to inhibit uh, its uh, natural effect. There are many drugs uh, which uh, act uh, in this way. Uh, for example, we have uh, enzymes like uh, mono amino oxidase, uh, which uh, catalyze uh, the degradation reaction of uh, catecholamines, uh, like norepinephrine and dopamine. Drugs that inhibit enzymes uh, like uh, MAOs, the mono amino oxidase, uh, include uh, silicidine, uh, which is said to be a uh, mono amino oxidase inhibitor and uh, used for various uh, therapeutic effects. Another example is uh, statins, uh, which uh, inhibit HMG CoA enzymes and thus uh, lower cholesterol level uh, in our blood. Other drugs uh, that show the effect by binding to cellular components uh, of our body include uh, the drugs that block uh, transporters. These transporters are uh, located uh, in the cell membrane, uh, which is responsible for the uh, transport of various molecules uh, across the cell membrane. For example, uh, we have a transport mechanism uh, for uh, serotonin and uh, norepinephrine in our brain uh, through which uh, uh, the neurons of our CNS reuptake uh, the molecules back into the neurons vesicles and this uh, transportation mechanisms uh, of these molecules can be inhibited by drugs like SSRIs uh, which inhibit the reuptake of serotonin back into the uh, neurons and uh, cocaine uh, which inhibit the reuptake of norepinephrine which results uh, in the increased concentration of these molecules in the synaptic left between the neurons. And thus, these molecules uh, activate the four synaptic receptors more than normal. Well, another topic in this discussion is uh, the drugs uh, which blocks the voltage gated uh, channels. These channels are also uh, located uh, uh, in the cell membrane, uh, which is regulated by other uh, difference uh, in the voltage. Uh, means uh, when there is uh, uh, the, uh, difference in the uh, voltage across the cell membrane, these uh, channels get open for a short duration of time. These channels include uh, voltage gated sodium channels, uh, L type calcium channels, and uh, potassium channels. The uh, some drugs uh, inhibit uh, the natural uh, functioning of these uh, channels uh, to get a therapeutic effect. The drugs uh, that show the effect by this mechanism uh, will bind uh, to some point of the uh, voltage gated uh, channels and uh, will block uh, the flow of ions uh, through the channel by blocking uh, the fourth uh, flow of uh, the ions uh, across the cell membrane by channels. These channels are mostly present uh, in the CNS which helps uh, in the facet of action potential across the length of uh, the narrow cell. Drugs which show effects by these mechanisms include local anesthetics which blocks uh, voltage gated sodium channels. Another example is nephilipine uh, which blocks L type uh, calcium channels. And uh, another example is uh, amiodarone which blocks potassium channels. After that, uh, we have uh, drugs uh, which act by uh, binding to functional proteins of the cells. For example, uh, wind colloids like uh, windristine, windblastine. Uh, which uh, acts by uh, binding to microtubules uh, during mitosis. 
uh, in the uh, mix so the cell unable to uh, be uh, divided into two and uh, the cell eventually dies and thus uh, these drugs are useful in uh, cancer treatment similarly a uh, large number of drugs uh, today uh, shows effect by binding uh, to receptors uh, inside our body this lecture only gives a brief idea about uh, these drugs which acts by this mechanism and uh, soon we will upload another video which will help to understand uh, receptor types and uh, drug that shows effect by binding to receptors so a large number of drugs uh, shows effect by this mechanism the drug may have agonistic activity or antagonistic activity on receptors Agonist means the drug will activate the receptor and antagonist means uh, the drug will uh, block the intrinsic activity of the receptor similarly uh, the receptor will be present uh, in the cell membrane or it will be present inside the cell to which uh, the drug will bind and uh, will show its agonistic or antagonistic effect on the receptor thus mm, it will activate or inhibit the internal function of the receptor moreover uh, the agonists are mostly endogenous substances uh, to which uh, the drug resembles and binds to the receptor our receptors are there are divided into four major types uh, which include uh, ligand gated ion channels these are kinds of channels uh, which are uh, often uh, encloses of unbinding of a ligand uh, to it for example acetylcholine actions on a, a nicotinic receptor and uh, succinamitonium which act as an antagonist on this receptor after that uh, second type is uh, enzyme to linked receptor uh, these receptor are uh, linked to an enzyme and uh, thus binding of a drug uh, to its uh, receptor uh, can cause uh, the activation of the enzyme for example insulin act in this way third type of uh, receptor is uh, gpcr uh, which stands for um, uh, g protein coupled receptors example of agonist is the uh, norepinephrine uh, acting on uh, beta receptors and uh, the antagonist for this receptor is uh, profranolol after that uh, we have the last type of uh, receptors uh, which is uh, intracellular uh, means they found uh, inside the cell and uh, the ligand must uh, pass through the cell membrane to bind it <coughs> this example is a uh, corticosteroids uh, which uh, uh, act as agonist and uh, uh, spironolactone uh, which act as uh, antagonist on these receptors and at last thanks for watching our video and uh, support us by subscribing our channel and I uh, will be thankful if you have some suggestion for us